this is it. We're it. Yeah, this is it. 1989, it's on its way! Oh, look at you! Oh. God, I know. There's no way, there's no way that there's a party anywhere that has hotter women than they're here tonight, man. God, oh, God! Some very creative outfits out there. I want to thank all you ladies for wearing them. Ah, uh, this is the way to do it, man, because all over America right now, they're having these New Year's Eve parties. The guy throwing the party, of course, is going, come on, have another one, because it's my house, I don't have to drive. <laughs> You've been to those parties, it's like 6 in the morning, you go, I got to go, man. No, come on, come on, because I only have to go to my room in a minute. Ah, uh, but we're partying. It's been, a, it's been one hell of a year. You know, you look back at, like, all the stuff that went down, Jimmy Swaggart's. <laughs> the man, the man that proved to all of us that you can't live without women. You can't. Biologically impossible to live without women unless you like to clean house twice a week. Then, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, you know, I thought he was a lot smoother criminal than that, though. This guy's ministry took in $135 million last year. You think a guy that made that kind of money would go, hey, hey, maybe I should be discreet. Maybe I should take some of the Lord's cash, come out to Hollywood, check into a hotel, get three or four hookers, get some real acrobats, some sexual trapeze artists, rock and roll, be nasty and have every bit of my life. Sneak back to Baton Rouge in time to be able to get in front of the people and go, we need $2 billion for South America. <laughs> no, but not, not, not Swaggered. He was smarter than that. Swaggered's like, wait a second. Didn't I see a whorehouse down by the trailers there about two miles from the Bible school? I swear to God, he went to, this, he went to these trailer parks where these ha prostitutes hung out for like two miles from his Bible school. Like they're not going to know him, you know? It's like, yeah, that's far enough away. I know. I'll throw him off. I'll drive my own car. They said, aren't you Jimmy Swagger? And he goes, no. No, it's not me, man. Uh, I read in Rolling Stone that he, he talked the woman down from 20 bucks to $10. <laughs> well, some of you bargain savers out there enjoy that. The guy's going, all right, 10 bucks! Uh, I couldn't believe that, though. That's kind of rude, isn't it? $20 for sexual services. Come on. Give her 20 bucks. So you have to save 10 bucks. I thought it was very cheap. Then I saw the pictures of her in penthouse this year, and it was like, nah. No, nah, he was right. 20 was too much. <laughs> 20 was way too much. Very ugly woman, man. Very, very ugly woman. This course of the year, also, Jessica Hahn went in Playboy. She showed everything. She showed us everything that Jesus gave her. Here it all is. Uh, she had a great story, too. She said, those preachers took it down to Florida. <laughs> those preachers took me down to Florida, and they used me sexually, and they did things to me. And, and now I can never believe in preachers again. I can never believe in God. And then Playboy comes along and goes, hey, here's a million dollars. Can we see you naked? She goes, oh, yeah, sure, here you go. Ow. <laughs> ah, kill her year, kill her year. Of course, we did the video with her. We had all the bands there. Oh, uh, you want to say that fun word, don't you, folks? It's so hard. I appreciate MTV. MTV's got so much courage to let me come on like they should on September 7th when I should have hosted the MTV Awards. They had Arsenio Hall, was supposed to represent comedy and rock music. Do we like him? No. I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Nipsey Russell of the 90s. Whoa, whoa. Bob Goldthwait. Uh, I hate all the. Do we hate Bob Goldthwait? No. Are we ever going to see another police academy? No. Uh, I, I just wanted to get that in, so wherever he's watching. Up yours, Bob!
right down there. It's time for the wild thing. That's Ham Jenny Brown signing off. Well, we will love a goodbye. God bless. Happy New Year. Is Robin Crosby from Rat, Cece DeVille from Poison, Rudy Sarzo from White Snake, Chris Blackwell from the Robert Plant Band on Drums, Billy Sheehan, formerly of David Lee Ross Band, now with Mr. Big, and of course the quiet Sam Kinison. A wild thing, I think you move me.